what is up? Random Rider here. It is nighttime again. And I wanted to do a video on night riding a little bit. Um, with motorcycling at night, you're even less visible. We're already invisible, so now we're super invisible people. And also at night, it's hard because distance between me and an oncoming vehicle, and it's already hard to do that with a, with a motorcycle, so there you go. Um, there are a few things, and this is something that both motorcyclists and car drivers can take away from what I'm going to do. Um, what I'm going to say here, this is for both of us, I guess, all of us, whatever. Um, and that is, motorcycles tend to have one light um, in their uh, on, unless they have their high beams on. Unless it's just a one single light setup. My FZ6R with a singular light for the headlight. The reason I'm saying this is bikes that are like that, now mine is not. Mine has two little lights that are always on. Um, but bikes that are like that tend to, um, you know, if you have a car that has one light out, they tend to look very similar. And even, at, even with these lights on here, you, um, you're, you're not going to be able to see as far of a distance and see the full car for what it is, especially since you got a bright light shining at you. So just because you see one headlight coming at you down like a side street or something like this, don't, I hope the picture by the way is coming out okay, don't assume it's a motorcycle. Because if you try to over, you know, pass it without getting over to the side if it's a little crowded, or if you realize you don't have to move over that much and it turns out to be a car, and if they're not fully aware of what this, what you're doing, and you do this, um, you're going to have an accident. So that's one thing about motorcycles at night. The other thing is our lights themselves. Now I've noticed, I've actually checked my high beams on my car versus my motorcycle, and um, the high beams on my car are also obviously they, they let you see farther down but for some reason my motorcycle lights have seemed a lot crisper a lot stronger in that regard like my high beam on my car illuminates what is already illuminating brighter plus a little bit of extra distance but here with motorcycles you can see I think my regular lights how they act right here now if I were to switch into the high beam which I'll do in just a second you see how much more I can see. I can see that stop sign. I can see the reflector on that guy's house by like a vehicle or something over there. Just a lot more vision there. And so it's taught for motorcyclists in the MSF course that when you're riding at night, you should have your high beams on. It'll let you see more. But more than just letting us see more, because that's what happens, you know, in general with lights. Um, it'll make us more visible to oncoming traffic. And it's really mo most important on side streets or um, things of that nature. But it makes us a little bit more visible because then they got a brighter light shining at them. And they don't tend to like it. I've had my high beams on and I got flashed with it, but I'm like, hey, at least you saw me. But when I picked up this bike from the uh, dealership, they had uh, high beams on, like they, it was at night or at dusk. And, uh, what the guy did is he brought it outside because it was in the sh it was inside on the showroom floor. So he brought it outside onto the side of the street, and it had the high beams on it already. So, um, you know, it's not it, it's a common accepted thing for motorcyclists to have their high beams on at night. Now, personal taste for people, and some people may disagree here and say you're doing it wrong. And I say, hey, if I get home with no problems, I'm doing it right. But uh, as you can see again, boom visibility difference is, is massive there and um, that helps me and it helps uh, those coming in my direction coming towards me when I'm riding it just helps visibility all around they might not like it but it, it can mean a difference between them not seeing you at all and them getting annoyed at this bright light and realizing it's a motorcyclist you know remember we're invisible you pretty much ride like people are trying to kill you and the high beam will help you in that regard as well both for us to see things farther away and um, for cars to see us so that's my little stuff little tips stuff whatever I'm riding at night 
Uh, don't assume one light is a motorcycle is coming at you. It could be a car, in which case you could screw yourself if you're not aware. And uh, I'm just going to stop here. If you're not aware and the other driver isn't aware. And high beams on motorcyclists help us see and help you see us. So that's pretty much that. Peace it out.